present you the platelet-rich plasma and skin rejuvenation in postmenopausal women. The goals and the things we're going to speak about today is the platelet-rich plasma and the effectiveness in postmenopausal women. So, what it is? The platelet-rich plasma is a concentrated source of autologous platelets, contains and releases through the granulation several different growth factors and other cytokines that stimulate healing of bone and soft tissue. The etymology of platelet-rich plasma is from thrombocytes, from Greek thrombos, clot, and ketos would be cell. Blood plasma is a straw-colored pale yellow liquid component of blood that normally holds blood cells in whole blood in suspension. It makes up about 55% of total blood volume. So where do we use it? Autologous platelet-rich plasma has attracted attention in various medical fields recently, including orthopedic, classic, and dermatology for its wound healing ability. Furthermore, it has been used in mesotherapy and as a filler for skin rejuvenation and face fold reconstruction. Now, how we apply BOP as mesotherapy and fillers? The procedure. There are different companies that provide the BOP kit. In all of them, the procedure starts by drawing a blood sample from the patient. The one used in this study requires 15 to 20 ml of blood followed by its homogenization. Then, centrifugation of the blood sample for 5 minutes at 1,500 Gs, and then the addition of 4 or 5 ml of PRP. We are then ready to inject the mixture in a short time, 2 minutes, to avoid coagulation into the needle. This is a graphical representation of the procedure. The vena puncture, the homogenization of, uh, of the blood with the tube, the one step centrifugation in 5 minutes in 1,500 G. And this is what we have with the tube with the plasma supernatum, the cellular sediment, the cell selector gel, the red blood cells. Where can we applicate PRP as a filler or as a mesotherapy? We can do it in different areas, as cheeks, nasolabial folds, crow's feet, eyelids, chin, forehead, neck, cleavers and hands. The technique of application is in the dermis, especially the reticular dermis, in 3 or 4 millimeters of depth. Then we have to tend the skin. Then we have to keep the needle level up. We have to do an overcorrection 10 to 20 percent to avoid the underdosing and to create the minimal trauma in our technique. That's why we use a long needle of 30 G. And then, finally, the intradermal injection we have to be by making white the skin, the blanching. We usually, we usually use the Napache technique. With mesotherapy, we create biostimulation of the fibroblasts and production of collagen 3 and 4. During the healing of the inflammatory procedure, which is being created by a small injury, the platelets are activated and aggregated together. Then the platelets release growth factors that stimulate the inflammatory cascade and healing process. The benefit of PRP is four times greater than the normal blood. This is a short video demo. We have a patient of 80 years old that she had. We, we use uh, the, the, the PRP as a filler here. She doesn't feel any pain. We had to use any anesthetic. And she had a great loss of uh, fat under her uh, zygomatic bone. As you can see here, she's completely relaxed. We haven't used any, anything. And she had the rapid result after the injection. This is how simple we can do the procedure. Now, the platelet deposition and adhesion, the platelet secretion and the platelet aggregation schematically can be represented just like that. <coughs> and, uh, the, how the platelets are creating the healing process and when we create small injury rapidly. And now the second part of our speech, what happens to hormones during menopause and what alterations can they create? 
hormonal changes and declines, as well as the slowdown in ovarian activity, which includes a decrease in B-stradial levels, cause many of the changes we see associated with menopause. The hormonal changes that occur during and after menopause tend to change the skin's physiology in new and different ways. We know that the decline in B-stradial during menopause is one of the culprits in the accelerated aging of the skin. Estrogens simulate fat deposits over the female body. As estrogen levels drop during menopause, fat deposits tend to become redistributed. The result is a loss of supportive fat below the skin of the face, neck, hands and arms. This allows sagging wrinkles to appear and the skin over these areas is less easily compressed as it loses its mobility. So we have as a result the elastosis, the thinning of the epidermis, and the skin becomes more prone to sun damage. Our case study, it concerns and it is conducted in our private practice with 15 postmenopausal women underwent that they underwent under three sessions of platelet rich plasma mesotherapy. Evaluations were done at base one every month after each treatment. All patients received four mLs of PRP activated with calcium chloride as standard injection points on face and neck skin for this study before and after every session, we use the dermoscope and the digital camera each month to record empirical data. A full hormonal profile was also taken down for every patient. We had no extreme adverse effects, such as allergies, scar tissue formation and calcification at the injection site, which can be possible. Small side effects, such as bruises and not long persistent pain, were faced successfully. In our applications, we did not use local anesthetic because rarely an adverse reaction to the agent may be triggered. Our results, the outcome assessments included subjective satisfaction scale, blinded clinical assessment, and the biophysical parameters of roughness, elasticity, and skin hydration. The follow-up of all our patients was evaluated initially monthly and then three months from their last session. This is a lady who didn't want at all to have any botulinum toxin or other fillers. This is before the procedure. You can see her neck and the lateral part. During the procedure, she has only a light redness. And one month after the procedure, you can see the big difference we have after only one injection of PRP in the distance of one month in the chin here, and the lateral part of her neck. Please conclude that. Yes, that's the end. Mesotherapy treatment with PRP has great effectiveness on wrinkled and sagging skin, even if the groups of patients treated are postmenopausal women. The exact mechanism of its action has not been completely discovered yet. Maybe the healing procedure that is created by the small injury triggers the beneficial action of platelets by releasing cytokines. Cosmetic procedures that offer great results with relative low costs, a minimum factor of ablation and pain are always beneficial to the patient's psychology and quality of life. Thank you for your attention. Enjoy Greece. Thank you very much, Dr. Karali. Uh, is there any questions? Yes, please. After separation of the platelets, do you add any calcium chloride? Like, how do you activate After, that? sorry, after the... After the, the centrifuge, after the centrifuge, how do you activate the platelets? Do you add calcium? No, we have already um, prepared tubes that they contain PRP and the gel. The activation is being completely by itself when we do the centrifugation. We, do, we don't have to do any other application because the kit is already prepared with the calcium ions and everything. Okay, there are different kits in the market though. Thank you. Any other questions? How many sessions normally you do? We do normally one session, absolutely. Then a second one after one month, with a maximum of three sessions, depending on the age of the patient. But the, the, the biggest number of the sessions we can do is three, not more. And how long the results they last? They last uh, one month, uh, the, 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 the during um, in the time in advance, it, they say, the researches that we have done till now, that is two years, and then we have to repeat the procedure. But uh, between the, the, the one and the first and the second uh, session, 
we already can see the result. The same thing between the third, the second and the third, but we usually do only two. We have follow-ups in two years, not more, unfortunately, because it's very new, the, the whole process, especially as mesotherapy. It, we used to, to do it in orthopedics, injections, and hair uh, uh, before, but now as mesotherapy and as a filler, it's new, is new the procedure, only for two years. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any more questions? Uh, I may ask, is uh, Dr. Uh, Marian from Iran here?